Greetings, Commanders, and welcome back. I'm Captain James Flint. Today, we're going to break down the extensive list of experimental effects available to Ordnance Hardpoints. Several of these experimental effects were covered in Episode 2, but will be covered again here for your convenience. And, as always, you can find the timestamp to skip to each effect down in the description below. Let's get to it. We'll start with the Double Braced Experimental. This one is quite simple and merely adds a small percentage increase to integrity. The percent that's increased is based off the actual integrity after modifications are applied, so you'll get more mileage applying this on top of a sturdy mod and less results when applied to a lightweight mod. A good choice for hull tanks and ships that overheat frequently to allow maximum module survivability. Next up is Stripped Down. This is the inverse of Double Braced. It removes a percentage of mass from the module it's applied to, with more mass removed from heavier modules and less mass removed from lighter modules. This also applies after modification changes, meaning more mileage on sturdy modules and a smaller benefit to lightweighted modules. Stripped Down is a staple of explorers everywhere. The lower the mass, the higher the jump range. Every little bit helps. Flow Control is another basic mod that has basic changes, simply lowering power draw with no other drawbacks. To be clear, this does not lower distributor draw, only the megajoule requirements from the power plant are affected. This is good for power hungry hardpoints. Overload Munitions alters the type of damage dealt from Ordnance, converting around 40% of explosive damage to thermal damage, allowing Ordnance to become much more useful against shields. This adversely affects the damage dealt to hull, making it a useful choice for pirating by reducing the amount of damage dealt to hull while still damaging external modules in the blast radius. Oversized is another simple experimental effect that's straightforward and basic. It adds a slight increase to damage and power draw after any changes from the base modification. This means the more damage or power draw you have, the more you'll feel the effects of oversize. This is a good choice on larger hardpoints if you've got a little extra power to spare. This one is not available on torpedoes. Emissive Munitions is a great utility for many builds. It's an excellent counter to stealth ships that run cold or deploy heat sinks often. Striking a ship applies a debuff that forces their heat signature way up without causing their heat levels to rise. This keeps the target on radar throughout its duration, even when heat sinks are deployed or if they have activated silent running. Each strike can reset the duration countdown by applying the effect again. Emissive Munitions also doubles the thermal load generated by the hardpoint it's applied to. Contrary to some rumors out there, this experimental does not aid, counter, or improve the standard gimbal turret wobble whatsoever. Also not available on torpedoes. Multi-servos increases power draw and DPS. The changes achieved are nearly identical to the changes received from Oversize. The difference here is, Multi-Servos uses an increased fire rate to achieve the same damage increase, using more ammunition as a byproduct, only available on Seeker and Dumbfire missiles. Thermal Cascade is quite similar to Thermal Shock, which was covered in Episode 2. It's one of the more unique effects. When striking the shields, not hull, of the target, it increases their heat level. Thermal Cascade does stack, however. The effectiveness of this mod relies heavily on the target's heat efficiency and their loadout, not just your own. Even with multiple Thermal Cascade hardpoints, it can be difficult to force a target to overheat in this way, especially before their shields go down. But if the target is already generating high heat by using hardpoints such as railguns or plasma accelerators, it's much more likely to cause heat damage over time. Unfortunately, this experimental does not cause problems for NPCs, so this is more suited towards PvP combat. Thermal Cascade is only available on Seeker and Dumbfire missiles. Drag Munitions is pretty straightforward. With no negative drawbacks, Drag Munitions applies a debuff to the target, preventing increased acceleration and speed gain from pips to the engine capacitor. In essence, it replicates the effects of having zero pips to engines for a short time. There is a chance that this might change in the future, however, as it received a buff in the past that was not well received by the community, so they reverted it back to its current form. They did state, however, they would revisit this in the 
the future, so double check the description below next to this timestamp. I'll put an update in the description should this effect change. Drag munitions is only available on seeker missiles. FSD Interrupt is a dumbfire exclusive and is primarily a PvP experimental. This effect reduces damage and fire rate, lowering damage per second a surprising amount, but it adds the ability to force the target's frameshift drive to reboot when connecting a dumbfire missile to a target's hull or shields. Once the effect has been applied and the FSD has begun its reboot phase, the target then receives a 30 second immunity before the effect can be applied again. Penetrator Munitions is another exclusive to Dumbfire Missiles and is one of the more unique experimentals on this list. Dumbfire and Seeker Missiles alike deal damage to hull and all external modules caught inside the blast radius when it impacts the target's hull. This includes utilities, hardpoints, canopies, and thrusters. Their splash radius does not extend to internal modules, however. Penetrator Munitions changes this. It modifies the missile to invert this rule. It prevents the splash damage from harming external modules, but instead allows them to damage internal modules. While drives are still damaged by penetrator payload from the standard hull damage radius, they are classified as external modules and take more damage from missiles without penetrator munitions. Shift Lock Canister is the mine launcher equivalent to the FSD Disruptor Experimental found on Dumbfire missiles, but it brings the much larger blast radius that mines produce. This effect causes all ships in the blast radius to reboot their frame shift drive, so mind your distance, it's possible to be caught in this blast yourself. This debuff is followed by a 40 second immunity period after the effect has expired. Ion Disruptor is a fantastic experimental and is exclusive to mines. Any ship caught in the blast forces thrusters to reboot. This will bring NPC ships to a stop. Against players who have flight assist on, they will also be brought to a complete stop with no pitch, roll, or yaw control. If the player turns flight assist off, they will begin to maintain their velocity and trajectory but still lose pitch, roll, and yaw control. This effect has a cooldown immunity of about 30 seconds, so this means once thrusters have been forced to reboot, they will be unable to force them to reboot again until the 30 second immunity duration has timed out. An excellent choice for traders looking to escape from interdictions rather than avoiding them. Radiant Canister is another mine launcher exclusive. It causes a disruption to sensors for 10 seconds and has a 5 second immunity before they can be disrupted again that begins after the initial disruption has expired. This disruption treats all ships who were caught in the blast as if heat levels of every other ship gradually drop to significantly low levels. So the effect of sensor disruption gradually gets stronger throughout the effect. It also generates significant heat on targets caught within the blast, and this heat generated is stackable. One interesting thing to note, while the description says it brings reduced ammo capacity, there was no ammo reduction found in any of my personal tests. And now, the one you've all been waiting for, let's be honest. Reverberating Cascade can be one of the most deadly experimental effects when used properly. Only available on torpedoes and mine launchers, Reverb Cascade explosives, when detonated against a powered shield, damage the shield generator directly. Torpedoes deal more damage to a generator than mines do with this effect, but both can be used to take out generators in a more timely manner than simply depleting megajoules. Be advised, even if the target generator Generator health is at 1% integrity, shields will still be between you and their hull. This is the experimental effect that encourages players to run torpedoes more than any other and can turn the tide of any engagement if successfully utilized. It works very well when attacking in a wing, with one person running some torpedoes and the other ready to shred the hull once the generator is down. Mass Lock Munitions is a torpedo exclusive and applies a debuff replicating the effects of a larger ship mass locking the target. This adds a significant time to the normal 5 second FSD charge to low wake into supercruise, potentially adding up to more than 20 seconds if the detonation happens before the drive has built up any charge. The effect duration countdown can be reset with another torpedo applying the debuff again as this experimental has no no cooldown immunity. Mass lock munitions, just like mass locking in general, does not have any effect on ships charging their frameshift drive to high wake into another system, however, meaning this is another effect that won't delay NPCs from escaping. 
And last up, we have penetrator payload. This is the same experimental effect as penetrator munitions, but is exclusive to torpedoes. It has no drawbacks and simply adds the ability to damage internal modules caught in the blast radius upon detonation. That's all I've got for episode 4. Keep a lookout for episode 5, which should be here soon. Feel free to reach out on Twitter at FlintlockENG for any questions you might have, or post them down in the comments below. Until next time, keep tinkering, Commanders!